stay away from this shit. And if you find some new shit, some spy glasses that actually work or that are newer technology, please comment down below with what it is because I've tried to orc the shit. I've tried to kestrel. I got just, just save your money, man. Don't buy it on this bullshit. What is this fucking remote? What is this? What is it? It's like a damn toy. Don't buy it. Just stay the fuck away from this. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm actually going to be doing a review on a set of glasses. Now, I know what you're going to say is, why would you do this? Why Why are you worried about what type of spy glasses there? I like tech shit, right? And, well, I, I don't know how well you see it. You'll see different sets of glasses. Some I've actually done reviews on. Some have been failed examples of reviews. And I figured, why not get these? Because I needed something that was inconspicuous. And the reason why I do that is because a lot of random shit that I encounter throughout the day whenever I go out, which is extremely rare, uh, that I want to record. <laughs> I know what you're going to say is, what about people's privacy? I don't give a shit about that. I don't, because if I'm in a public format, the type of shit that I see and I hear, I'm not going to be able to encounter. Now, would you catch me dead? Honestly, wearing these, I don't care what they look like. I'm not a big fan of glasses or sunglasses, but I am a big fan of spying on people. So that's what we're going to do. I don't really have anybody to spy on, but I'm going to show you what's inside of this box that cost me about 200 bucks. It is the most inconspicuous spy glasses that you could get, at least that I could find. And all the other versions, honestly, they look like shit. So... Let me show you what these are. Let's bring it down. Let's talk about it. This is everything you get inside of the package. Well, it all kind of comes inside of this really not, not, not terrible, but a little case to hold it. You can see that I did take this out. I have not used these. What I did do, though, is I did charge these arms. Now, it comes with two of these. I said, well, that's great. That's fantastic. I've got a set of glasses, and it's already broken. Sorry for the reflective properties. That is a little bit bright. On these sunglass arms, you get these little micro USB, and then those essentially plug in right there. And then inside of here is going to be your storage and your battery. This plugs into here, like so. Only goes in one way, like that. I doubt you have a USB that works for that, but a good thing is it does come with a USB A that works with that it is just an absolutely it's not a micro usb it looks like it is I, micro usbs i know don't don't look like that so and it's not like a mini usb i have no idea it's just like a proprietary connection either way okay so it charged up and then you get this sweet remote so i had to look for honestly a user manual as to how you use this what do you hit? Apparently, there's an arm here. And, or on, yeah, on this. And then once you plug this in, there is wiring that goes through here. It's supposed to be 1080p. I, I saw a video of a guy doing it. He didn't really review it. You can't really see any microphone, and you really cannot see a camera, which is pretty badass. There is actually a camera, though. It's right here. Right, there you go, now you can see it. But man, I'm telling you, when you're wearing that, you don't see it. You can get different lenses for these. Where I bought this from, God, there are fingerprints all over this. Where I bought this from, I didn't see any options to buy any lenses. These are obviously the Kestrel 2s. It's probably in the title, I didn't even mention that. However, uh, this remote allows you... <laughs> you would use this i guess if this is on your face and this is in your pocket and you don't want to be obvious you just kind of there's no manual I, i'm just gonna wing on what does what and hopefully it records now what i noticed is when i first plugged this in uh it doesn't really snap in it it looks like it does but it doesn't it goes in make sure you got that right and then it to get it to snap on I mean, you could see how hard I'm pressing here. There, we, oh, of course, it's going to do it now. This should light up. It does vibrate it, some at some point. 
it will. At least it did when I first got it, and it did come with extra little. Man, there's fingerprints all over that shit. Oh my. Yeah, that's some serious vibration. Okay. A couple blinks. No manual with this. Nothing. See? It doesn't vibrate. It doesn't do anything. See, I'm more nervous that when you go to snap this in, this arm right here is going to break. That makes me very, very nervous. This is the one that I had problems with. Yeah, this is the one. There we go. Okay, that didn't vibrate as long. The glasses itself, I was trying to play around with it. Uh, you don't tap this side. You actually tap over here on the opposing side. It's, uh, are you actually going to go out and go buy these? Probably not. Uh, but you tap over here. Okay, now it's not, now it's not going to do it. Okay, so now it's recording. Not, and let's see if we hit this. Does nothing. It looks like it's recording. Okay, so here's the deal. I, uh, I look stupid as shit. I went outside. I recorded this. I, I didn't even notice that there were two different arms. Like, that one is a little bit longer than the other. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's a manufacturer defect. Doesn't really matter. Let me tell you why. So, I went outside. I was recording. Looking cool. Uh, whatever. It's nighttime. I'll give you some kind of auditory or, or vision as to how this is going to output. I'll try to plug this into the Mac. I'm using an M2. I said, okay, let me plug it in to the M1 Mac. No good. Let me plug it in to the Intel Mac. No good. Fine. Plug it into my Dell Carbon Edition. No good. Razor. No good. No matter what I plugged it into, I could not get it to recognize these drives. And it's not like you could just take these out and plug this into some shit. It is a proprietary connection. And it's also not like there's an SD card that is in here, at least not that I'm aware of. And there's no way to plug the glasses in because, well, these arms, I, I feel like it's not even gonna fucking matter because this arm does not come off. Like, it, it, it it's... Well, there's the sensor. I mean, it, it doesn't even... I don't know what just... It, well, there... Okay, so I just broke that. There's your camera. But it, it doesn't matter because it doesn't work. This was $240. It's like this field, nobody gives a shit about. They don't make any new spy glasses because nobody fucking cares about them. <laughs> I'm the only one to think it's cool that they would work. But it doesn't matter. The remote is like a toy remote for some shit that, I, I don't know, you saw me pressing the buttons, none of it worked. I, I couldn't, I could get it to vibrate, to turn on once you tap the shit out of it. But then, even then, great. Where, where's it recording to? Probably that. Uh, okay, you could use the argument and be like, Jay, you got that new technology. It, it's got to work on a different computer. No, the fuck it doesn't. That Dell Carbon thing is from like 2016. I don't even think they make that shit anymore. So it's not a matter of it, it's a newer. Okay, but even if it was a newer technology, which isn't because that's five different computers, I could get it to charge. That is all. Don't waste $200 on this. You know what? I, I, I'll keep reviewing these, but it's not like any companies are launching new ones. Stay away from the shit. And if you find some new shit, some spy glasses that actually work or that are newer technology, please comment down below with what it is because I've tried to orc the shit. I've tried to kestrel. I got it. Just, just save your money, man. Don't buy it on this bullshit. What is this fucking remote? What is this? What is it? It's like a damn toy. Don't buy it. Just stay the fuck away from this.